It's been almost 20 years since the Foo Fighters took to the stage at Worthy Farm. Their last Glastonbury appearance was way back in 1998. We were on the main stage, but there was some Euro Cup final soccer thing happening. And so we played in the pouring rain to not a lot of people. To each other. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> but over the last two decades, the band have established themselves as the princes of alternative rock. The Foos began life as Nirvana drummer Dave Grohl's solo project of self-penned songs. Stepping out from behind the skins, he played every instrument on their celebrated self-titled debut. Well, I talked about it, carried on, reasons only new. Tricky's second album, The Colour and the Shape, spawned monster rockouts and sing-along stadium anthems. Drummer Taylor Hawkins was installed as new sticksmith. Taylor, the new drummer, has given everything a new spark. And the Foos continued their journey to sky-high superstardom. They topped the UK charts in 2002 with fourth album One by One. The band have bagged 11 Grammys. They've clocked up eight studio albums. And have sold out stadiums across the globe. In 2015, they were all set to headline the pyramid stage. But at a gig in Sweden, Dave's onstage satnav had a blip, resulting in a lower limb disaster. I think I just broke my leg. Nonetheless, he rocked on and finished the show. We were looking forward to playing Glastonbury, and I guess it was just a few days before that I broke my leg. So they moved Florence to the headliner. And then they did a version of Times Like These. I remember I was in my wheelchair with my leg up, and I heard it online. I was like, where is she? Florence and her machine wowed the Somerset crowd, but the Foos promised to return. I'm like, no, that's the festival. That's the one. So tonight, the stars have aligned. And finally, the Foo Fighters are rocking the pyramid stage. Was it meant to be? Of course it was. <laughs> yeah.